Hey friends, today is my first report back and uh, I'm going to try this with some charts and graphs. I don't know how this is going to go about, but um, I'm 53, I am 5'9", and I weigh about 263, 265 pounds, so I'm obese and uh, I've been heavier in my life uh, and I've tried this <laughs> for years and years, but uh, to lose weight these last couple of years and no it hasn't been because I didn't have the right diet or the right formula or I didn't exercise enough frankly uh, my issue has always been self-sabotage uh, not being able to deal with the the desire to go back to old habits of eating whether it be and my number one culprit if you will is sweets if I eat something sweet it triggers me uh, which sounds makes me sound like a victim and I'm not trying to say that I'm a victim I'm just saying that those foods I believe and come to believe are engineered uh, whether by human design or by nature design or a combination of both to make you want and eat more of them right it's no different than an, uh, uh, any other addic addictive substance like alcohol alcohol by its nature uh, uh, for some reason makes you want to drink more and then you, you you gain tolerance and then tolerance after tolerance becomes addiction and uh, I'm not saying that I'm necessarily addicted to sugar I just know that that when I eat too much of it <clears throat> it triggers me to eat more of it and that there is health consequences because of it so enough of the lecture on that let's get back to the report back so for the past couple of weeks I've been doing a video and why do why am I making this video I'm making this video for myself because after 13 weeks I hope to see some change if I don't see any change then shame on me right number two I'm hoping that some other obese 50 year old man who doesn't think that they can get it done will see me sitting in my in my office in Cedar Park uh, Texas and think you know what I'm gonna give it a shot I think I can get this done and and that's my hope right my hope is that that uh, that you take a step forward. There is some links below, just so you know. Uh, I'm going to write up this blog and post these pictures. Number two, uh, if you want to talk to me on the phone, I have a couple of times scheduled throughout the week where, uh, if you just want to tell me about your situation and and uh, and 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 get some feedback or ask me a couple questions, I'm happy to do that. I can point you to some resources, maybe. Uh, and if you also go to my blog, uh, you'll, you'll be able to find a way to email me and you can shoot me an email. So my point is, uh, I'm doing this to, to try to be helpful, right? And helpful to myself, uh, because I believe the number one, the number one thing, uh, to start is you have to face what I call the dragon. You have to face the fact that you're fat. You have to look at it. You have to just know it every day. You can't. You can't pretend. Um, you are what you are, right? And and once you acknowledge, then you can start addressing that. Addressing what you can do to solve it. So that's what it's about, and that's what I'm here. So let's get into it. This first chart. I'm gonna move this my recording screen out of the way. This first chart, I believe, is this past week, May fifteenth. To May 21st right so the way this little app called happy scale which I highly recommend and I'll make another video on how to do the scale I have a Bluetooth scale that goes that I step on that transfers data to my Apple health on my phone happy scale which is an iOS app then reads that data and builds a trend line right so these little dots you probably can't see my, my mouse but the these bars are the actual weigh-in numbers and then the big blue line is the trend line, right? So yeah, I had three days where I weighed high, one, two, three, four, I had four days where I weighed below, right? So simple enough. The grade makes it look like there's all this change, but in reality, we're talking about, you know, less than a pound, right? I, I moved the trend line down 1.2 pounds this week. Uh, so that's, that, that, that's a win, right? So why am I doing this big, challenge because let's look at the next next one uh, that's not what I wanted to do the next one is the month but let's go to this one this is the year so this is January 1 
See, I was below all of, and, and I'm just for a little little heads up, all of 2021, I was below 260. I, I was not below 250 ever, but I was never above 260. So I, I hovered in the 250 to 260 range for a solid 12 months. I've never done that. Usually I yo-yo up and down 20 pounds, but I was up and down four or five pounds all throughout the year. Pretty happy with it. I was able to wear the same clothes. It's one of the reasons why I got frustrated with this big jump that happened in the middle of March because basically when I go over 260, the clothes that I wear in my 250s don't fit anymore. But I got so good at being in the 250s that I started jettisoning, getting, getting rid of a lot of my quote unquote fat clothes. So I was screwed. I had one pair of pants, one pair of jeans, uh, that sort of thing. So I was like, oh shit. I gotta get something done. So I can't really put my finger on what happened in March other than I just started eating more. And then in, in April, and, and, and just for context, alcohol is, is not part of my equation because I've been sober since 2018. So I'm not drinking beer or wine or anything like that, right? This is just food and 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 beverages, whether it be, uh, and I don't drink sodas or anything like that, maybe a diet soda sometimes, which it's a whole nother can of worms. But I, I got up and, and I kept telling myself, which maybe this rings true for you, as I was, I, I was like, okay, I'm not quite 262 yet. I can get right back. I can get right back, get right back. But I never, never made the change. And mindful, I'm, I'm doing exercise during this, right? It was just, it just sneaks up on you. Just, it's just one day. It's like you just let, as James Clear likes to, likes to say from Atomic Habits, you let a bad habit turn into a lifestyle. And basically what I realized by looking at this, I was letting some bad habits take hold of me. And look at that line. I mean, basically you could just trend that up. Next thing you know, in July, I'm freaking 270 again if I'm not if I'm not gonna do anything. And I just had to draw the line at 265. And if you look right there, I, did, I have not gone over two, I have weighed over 265 in a day, but I have not let that trend line go over 265. And I am not gonna let that trend line get over 265. So that's that was the hard line in the sand that I drew. I'm just like, that. that's just it. Five pounds over the 260, that's it. This far, no further. And so, as you can see, I've got a little bit of, I mean, we're talking about a pounder here. It, lo it looks so, you know, the, the graph is so big, so it looks like I've lost all this weight. I mean, it's just, but the point is I've turned that thing down the other way. So let's look at, let's look at this one. This is May. So as you can tell, I've been trying to May to get this done, get this started. And it's like, oh, I've had a, this is, this, this right here is the story of my life from May 1st through this week. Gain a few pounds, lose a few pounds. Gain a few pounds, lose a few pounds. It's annoying. Like basically I live the week I do good, the weekends I do bad. The week I do good, the weekends I do bad. Maybe maybe you can relate to that. But that's basically, so what? what's the net? Pretty much the same. But I, ha I have in this week was able to turn the tide. So I've got to get back to, I stopped making my daily videos but I will attaboy myself that I did not give up on the program. It's just it's just doing daily videos is very time consuming. Uh, it basically takes me an hour at night to do the editing and the posting and to make sure everything gets put up online. So, uh, but I feel like it's worth it because now they're irrelevant and they don't really make any sense and who cares? There's just some fat dude walking around talking with a GoPro, but uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I there will be a transformation that happens and I'll have it on I'll have it documented and that sort of thing. So I'm going to stop the tape here. Next, what you're going to see is uh, my wife takes measurements of me, helps me, and I'm going to go through what those me measurements are. And you'll be able to see me without my shirt. I I, I will just say that I'm a big proponent of. Um, Basically facing your fear, facing the fact that your belly hangs over your waist, right? I don't advocate in public just wandering around with your shirt off, but I'm saying in private, you need to be you need to be pretty aware of what you look like. And I like to work out without my shirt on because it makes me face uh, 
And I'm going to talk about that in another video. Also, a, a video in yourself when you're doing some of these movements. My coach, Sabine, uh, who I'll put a link in down below, she talks about that. And she does a very good job, if you look at her Twitter, of, of videoing her movements. Because in your mind's eye, you think you're doing something, but in reality, you're not. Or you think you're not doing it very well, but in reality, you're probably doing a little bit better than you thought. So, um, in either case, in either case, uh, doing the video and sometimes working without your shirt on will help you will help you face that and overcome that fear. And and I'm and I'm hoping will give you some motivation to make a change. So I'm going to roll tape on me getting measurements and just walking, kind of showing off my my fat man bod, and uh, I'll put up I'll put some music. And uh, I'll put what the measurements are, right? And if you go to the blog, you'll be able to see because I'll post and we'll start tracking it that way. But uh, there again, my name's Terry. Uh, my hope is that that I will I will see some Terry in the future that weighs 100 pounds less will see this video and feel pride. And my other hope is that that uh, that this will motivate you to get up off the couch and just take the step forward. Whenever I'm in doubt or whenever I'm feeling the worst, my first advice to myself as always is walk out the front door. Just walk out the front door, walk to the end of the block, just don't put headphones in, just walk and just look around. A lot of things will start changing, your perspective will start changing and, uh, and maybe you'll think of something, you'll probably know what to do next after that. Wishing you the best, I'm here for you my friend. It's never too late to get started. Uh, and never give up on yourself. You can't tell me the deck is stacked. You can't whisper behind my back. You can't show me how the odds are up against me all day long. But I've been through the fire. Can't stop me now Let it burn. My time is rising, and you can't breathe.